So hello, my name's Rob and this is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm painting up my World Eaters using this Terminator Champion and the Citadel paint range. As always, I'll leave all the details in the description below along with any useful links and the like. I myself am extremely excited about the new World Eater stuff coming in the new year. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see here, I've made the body, but I'm keeping the arms, shoulder pads and trophy rack separate. I'll be painting these alongside the body, uh, as it's just how I prefer to work. I also won't be painting the skin in this video, as I have a separate video on that, which I will leave on screen now. And also, you might not want to have the helmets on either. However, the first thing we need to do is prime our miniatures. The trophy racks I have sprayed with lead belcher. However, there are two ways to prime the actual model. You can either spray it Mephiston Red, like I have here, and paint in the trim, or you could spray everything Retributor Gold and block the red in. It's up to you. Uh, both steps of the painting the red and gold will be covered anyway, so for the purpose of this video, it doesn't really matter. You might just have to jump back and forth through the video. What I will do though is I will uh, paint the shoulder pads with Retributor and block the colors in that way, as I just find it's a little bit easier, and then I'll kind of do the main body and the main work in the fist and red, as you can see here. The first step, however, is to block in all the gaps in the armor suit. Any cloth, his gun case in, uh, and for this I'm using a bad and black. Don't worry if you splod, just tidy up using your base color, whether it be my fist and red or retributor gold. Uh, after it's also worth noting that I am using a wet palette to thin all my paints. If you don't have a wet palette, don't worry, just add a small amount of water to your palette so the paint is running smoothly. This will ensure that all your paints have a nice smooth finish to them, but you may need to do a couple of coats on each section. Now, as I started with a red base coat, I'm going to recess shade uh, using Flesh Terror's Red Contrast. Um, if you didn't, then now is the time to block in Mephiston Red for all your red panels. Um, but all I'm going to do here is running the paint uh, where the red would meet the gold trim or any trim and in the corners or edges uh, on the model. Once this is done, any splodges I can tidy up with Mephiston Red again and then I can move on to highlighting. For this I'm going to be using Evil Sun Scarlet uh, just on the edges and then I will be using a Wild Rider Red uh, for the sharpest bits. A good tip here is if you use the edge of your brush along the sharp edges, uh, you'll get that super fine highlight look. Now that's our armor completed. Uh, the next step is, if you didn't start with Retributor armor, is to now block in all the trim using Retributor armor gold. And next, we're going to wash all of the trim with Agrax Urshade. This is all over, making sure it's pulled around the little divots and rivets and things like that and um, you're not overloading your brush when applying it. Now that's applied, um, it has dulled our metal down quite a bit. Um, I wanted to have that really bright, shiny, brassy, goldy color uh, for my Weld Eaters. So what I do is I mix one part Rune Lord Brass and one part Retributor Armor, which is then layered on towards the ridges and the edges of the trim, uh, just to kind of give that really nice shine. And lastly, a fine edge highlight of Runefang Steel. This is just along all those sharpest points, any little divots uh, that the armor might have. And if you want to, you can just put a little bit on each of the rivets and things like that. Mm -hmm. 
and now it's time to block in any parts you want to be silver. For this I'm going to be using lead belcher. This is for things like the vents on the back, any chain man on the miniature and any parts of the guns or weapons he might be holding. Next up I use Rattling Grime Contrast and this is to wash all over the silver parts. And then using Lead Belcher I tidy up any flat sections and give some bits a cheeky highlight just using the edge of my brush for those sharpest points. Now the last few details uh, can be completed. Um, for this, uh, any weapon handles and straps or belts, I use Mournfang Brown, washed with Agrax Urshade, and then I'd add a small highlight of Scrag Brown. Any skulls or horns are base coated with Carrick Stone, followed by a wash of Seraphim Sepia, followed by a highlight of Ushabti Bone. Then any bronze parts are painted in Balthazar Gold, um, washed with Agrax Urshade, and then I apply a little bit of Balthazar Gold back over them to just bring them back up to life. And then any little tassels or things like that are base coated in Doomball Brown, and they just get a wash of Agrax Urshade. Now we can use Mechanica Standard Grey. This is for all the highest ridges in the cloth. Any other black details you may have, like the ribbing on his undersuit and also the gun casing. I'm also going to touch in the bullets with a little bit of Retributor Armor Gold, some Mornfang Brown and give them a wash with Agrax Urshade, and then I am going to make my full assembly. And here is our World Eaters Terminator completed. Not many steps when it's broken down and you could easily use these colour schemes for any of the other units available in the range. Once again, I am super excited for all the new World Eater stuff and I can't wait to get my grubby little mitts on them. As a side note, you can push this model a little bit further by adding some Screaming Skull highlights to the bones, some Blood for the Blood God maybe for the axe. Uh, you can also add some uh, of the technical gem paint um, for any gems. A lot of these models are different, so some will have the option to, some will not. But that's it for me once again. Uh, I will leave all the information, colours used, links to my Instagram, extra ways you can support the channel uh, in the description below. These videos do take a long time to make and if you enjoyed them, learned something new, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment or subscribing to me. Um, once again I would like to thank Fraser Value over on Instagram for sending me this amazing gift. Um, it's been great fun and having the ability to show you this paint scheme has been super exciting. Um, let's cue the money shots after this and that is really it for me. I will see you all in the next one. I'll do a little head tutorial separate for everyone so they don't at me. God bless and I'll see you all next time.